today we will perform the experiment uh, regarding uh, to measure the charge to mass ratio of electron by using the Helmholtz coil. We will perform the experiment as well as the describe the theory behind this experiment. Okay. For uh, uh, this purpose, uh, first we will discuss the theory. Uh, you must know that. Uh, by uh, we may find easy, we may easily find the charge of electron, but not a mass. Quantum mechanically, uh, both are not possible. Quantum, according to quantum field theory, uh, the, uh, the charge is not a constant. But uh, uh, but time being, we will consider historically consider that uh, we uh, consider that the charge on an electron is one point. Uh, 6 uh, 10 raised to power minus 19 and that may, may be measured okay according to classical or old theories okay. so uh, so charge we will measure the charge um, uh, and this, by uh, this experiment we will measure the charge mass ratio and, uh, and from other uh, experiment we will measure the charge on electron so uh, by using so when we know the charge and mass ratio and charge on electron, so we can so in this way we may find the mass of electron. Okay. So uh, how we will find? What is the theory behind that? When uh, we know that when electron, uh, uh, if they, these are the magnetic field, when electron is moved up through the magnetic field. Uh, in this uh, uh, symbol means the charge is inside. Okay. If uh, current, if the charge move, if the current uh, charge motion of the current, uh, charge means current. Okay. If the charge move inside the uh, uh, will, when the charge pass through the magnetic field, it experience a force. That force will be uh, this symbol means the magnetic field will uh, is inward the page. If the, this dot mean that uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, this symbol means uh, this is the back side of arrow, means the magnetic field in, uh, inward the, the board. This means uh, this, uh, mean, uh, this uh, represent the uh, head of the uh, arrow, means uh, this means inward the uh, magnetic field inward, magnetic field inward, and this. Uh, uh, for this case, the magnetic field is, uh, this is the head, okay, so this means magnetic field is outward the board, okay. So this symbol represents the magnetic field inside, this means uh, the outside. In both cases, when uh, the uh, charge or electron uh, start moving in straight line and will pass through this magnetic field perpendicular uh, if uh, that is making angle then they will experience the force this electron will force experience the force fe means the force on electron this electron will fo uh, experience the force q q mean charge v mean velocity of electron okay across uh, B mean magnetic field. Okay, so when uh, uh, when a when a charge or electron move uh, or a pass through the magnetic field with the velocity v e, this is velocity v e. V e is the velocity of electron, and uh, pass through the magnetic field with this magne uh, this velocity, then that will experience this uh, uh, force. Oh, and if uh, I have uh, in uh, in the classical mechanics, we have proved that uh, that this will be uh, make uh, if there is angle, then this force will be F uh, B uh, B sine theta. If there is an angle, then uh, they will be make a uh, uh, curve like this. This helix. Okay? Okay. Uh, this will uh, make a curve like coil like. Uh, uh, the path of electron will be like this helix, okay? But if this angle is 90, if uh, uh, theta is not equal to 90, then this will make a helix coil, so uh, shape of helix coil, mean uh, like a spring, okay? But uh, if uh, theta is uh, uh, theta is 
zero, uh, sorry, if the theta is ninety, then they will make a circle. Uh, okay, so this way, so uh, circle. Uh, we will adjust the coil uh, of the uh, uh, Helmholtz coil in such a way that magnetic field will be perfect. In this case, that is making angle uh, any angle theta. Okay, so this will be uh, experience this force. But in uh, our experiment, we will adjust it in such a way that angle will become uh, uh, 90 if uh, we adjust. While in Helmut coil in such a way that it velocity of electron. Make angle ninety degree or uh, uh, pi by two radian or pi by two radian. Then path of electron. Become a circle. So, so if uh, this become a circle, then F V will be equal to Q V E uh, V E cross uh, V E uh, B sine. Sorry, magnitude of sorry Q V E B sine 90. Then that will become a Q uh, uh, sine 90 is one, so that will be a circle. We'll make a circle. We'll make a circle. In this case, it is making a helix. Okay. Make a helix. Theta is not 90, then uh, the, uh, the shape of will be shape of the path will be uh, like helix. Okay, helix. And uh, if uh, uh, theta is equal to 90, then the path of electron will be circle. Circle. Path of trajectory of trajectory of electron. Okay. This is helix. Okay, like spring like. Okay, and this case uh, uh, circle. Okay, circle this. Okay, so uh, the, since it is a making a circle, as we know that that is making a circle. If it is a making a circle, uh, then uh, it means uh, since. Uh, it is uh, since trajectory of electron will make a circle when theta is 90. So it will experience Centi 
sandy petal force so this force fe will be a centripetal force and we know that f e will f c centripetal force is uh, uh, m and this will be also equal to the force on electron m uh, e m e is mass v square over v e square over r okay this will be a centripetal force uh, if i say that this is a 2 so 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 we will have uh, uh, q v e b will be equal to m e v e uh, square over r from uh, v e square uh, this so you will have uh, q over m e will be equal to uh v e over r b okay uh where q is charged on electron okay m e is uh, mass of electron v is magnitude of this is not vector magnitude of velocity of electron and uh, b is magnetic field provided by coil r is a radius of trajectory of electron okay So that will make a circle okay if angle is thi theta otherwise that will be a helix coil okay uh, q m e v e uh, r and t so this uh, is a uh, this will be a relation so uh, you will get this result okay uh, so uh, from this formula you will measure the qm ratio you may uh, where the velocity of electron how uh, no question is uh, how we may find the velocity of electron there is a uh, uh, ve and uh, b are unknown to b to be determined okay we have to find uh, the expression for these uh, two okay uh, how we find the velocity of electron or oh, okay uh, as we know that uh, uh, the velocity of electron depend upon the potential provided okay so the kinetic energy of electron which is 1 half mp v e will be equal to q phi where phi is the potential uh phi is potential uh for accelerated potential accelerated potential okay when we pro provide the uh, uh this potential this will be uh, equal to this and from uh, okay so uh one kinetic energy sorry one half mv square is the kinetic energy that will be a q phi that is the potential uh, energy sorry uh, the potential energy of electron okay phi is the potential okay accelerated potential 
So uh, V E square will be uh, Q uh, two Q two will be go there and uh, uh, it will be multiply Q five and M E. Okay, two Q five and M E. This implies that V E will be Q five M A. Okay. So by uh, putting this value uh, in this equation, okay, putting in uh, putting. Value V E in equation three, and we will put this value in equation three. This this is equation three. Okay, if we will put this value in equation three, uh, then uh, Q over M E, the charge mass ratio will become a uh, two Q phi over M E over one over R B. This will be the your uh, relation for. Uh, Uh, the uh, measuring the magnet uh, QM ratio. This, but uh, here QM. If we take a square Q square, M E square, this will become a two Q phi uh, over M E. Okay, and uh, R square B square. Q will be cancelled with this. M E will be cancelled this. So Q M E will be equal to two phi over R square B square. This will be your uh, result. Okay, to find the Q M ratio. Okay, now we have to find the B square uh, value of the B in the form of the current. So how we may find the value of B square? As we know that uh, how we measure the physically uh, the magnetic field, we know that uh, magnetic field is uh, actually uh, as we know that when uh, 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 we have to find actually what is the B. Now the this is the question X. Okay, we have to find the magnetic field. What is the value of magnetic field? If we know the magnetic value field of magnetic value. the field we we may find the as we know that uh, as uh, current move from uh, current from y then magnetic field will be directly proportional to the current so it will produce uh, in a circle the current around this if current is moving upward this will be anti clockwise if current is moving upward then the magnetic field will be equal to uh, in circle okay and in anti clockwise okay according to right hand rule okay when uh, the current is upward in straight line then they will produce a circle like this but uh, If uh, current is downward, then this magnetic field will be clockwise. So, so the, when the current moves from the uh, 
If downward, then that will be clockwise according to right hand rule. Okay. Similarly, the magnetic field of when uh, uh, if the, there is a coil, if uh, actually in this Boltzmann, uh, uh, there is a two coils, okay, helix coil, and they are bended by uh, may, uh, bended by many coils, around about 150 coils, okay. So uh, there will be a two coils and uh, as we know that uh, when uh, there is a coil the current will be moved from if that is like a coil then magnetic field will be from one coil to other coil if that is a uh, uh, it depend upon uh, so the magnetic field this will be magnetic field so magnetic field will be one coil so magnetic fan current will pass through these coils magnetic field will produce from one coil to other as shown in fig with red line okay so this will be a magnetic field will be a produce okay so in this way the magnetic field will be produced it depend upon the uh, if the uh, current is uh, uh, the, then this and this uh, the, that depend upon the uh, uh, the direction of the current if the direction of the current is clockwise or anti clockwise so the uh, the direction of magnetic field be from one coil to other coil and the formula of uh, uh, this uh, magnetic field will be uh, for this coil as much we will provide the uh, current the uh, uh, the how much we will provide the current the current will be directly proportional to the magnetic field and that will be equal to this magnetic field will be equal to b equal to uh, 8 mu naught n i 125 uh, r okay we are uh, Okay, so this will be the in this equation. Okay, in this equation, B is as a uh, mu is permittivity of the space. Mu is uh, permittivity of space. N is uh, number of turns in each coil. And that is around about. It depends upon the manufacturer. In our experiment, that is around about 150. Okay, and uh, I is uh, current passes in coil. Okay, R is uh, radius of each. Okay. Okay. The R is a radius. So, uh, if uh, we, as we know that we may measure only the uh, uh, radius of each coil. Okay. How we may find the radius of the each coil if uh, these uh, uh, if this is the 
for example this is one coil there are two possibility uh, of the radius one is uh, r uh, in and one is r out so this r will be r in plus r out divided by 2 okay so uh, r we may say that uh this r is equal to d by 2 mean diameter if we find the d d is d in plus d out diameter because and uh, over 2 over 2 okay so this will be average diameter a average okay so this is all radius that will be the but uh, it is uh, if uh, it is looking uh, difficult to measure the diameter actually in our experiment this diameter of uh, the coil is equal to r is also equal uh, uh the radius of coil is also equal to distance between the coils distance between the coils two coils so this radius can be also measured by if we measure the distance between two coils that uh, if we measure the this distance inside in plus uh, between two coils so in this way distance of coil inside plus distance of coil from outside 1 by 2 so in this way we may find also find the r and by finding the r uh, uh, by finding the r uh, that uh, we put this value in this r 125 and we know that n is around uh, about 1 n is 150 and uh, i is uh, we will measure the current mu not is given 8 is constant and uh, so we may find the b and by putting these all values in this formula b value b and measuring uh, hey, where is uh, the for yes that i have find the value putting that value in uh, that formula that was uh, i think uh, v e over b square r square okay i think uh, so so in this way we will find the em ratio now we will perform the experiment so this is the uh, all about the theory behind uh, this experiment thank you very much now we will perform the experiment okay uh the uh, the most important thing uh, to uh, before ending i want to uh, uh, tell that uh, the actually the color of the uh, uh, the trajectory of electron will be green because uh, there is a helium gas uh, and due to the ionization of this helium gas that uh, will path will be green okay so now we will perform the experiment okay. now we will perform the uh, experiment Uh, by helmholtz coil okay so uh, this is our helmholtz coil okay uh, this is our helmholtz coil okay so first of all uh, uh, i will switch off everything okay uh, i will check everything is uh, okay this is flame okay this is the uh, uh, vacuum uh, tube uh, and the helium gas is inserted in it uh, 
वेरी लो प्रेशर दिस इज फ्लैमट एंड हेयर दिस इज हीटर ओके दिस विल प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड दैट विल बी ट्रेवल टू वर्ड एन आउड ओके एंड दिस ड्यू टू दिस पोटेंश दिस इज एक्सलेटेड वोल्टेज ड्यू टू दिस एक्सलेटेड वोल्टेज वी विल एक्सलेट दी चार्ज फॉर मोशन एंड दिस इज मैग्नेटिक करंट दैट विल बी दिस करंट विल बी फ्लो ऑन दिस दीज टू क्वाइल्स ओके सो वैन करंट विल बी फ्लो दीज क्वाइल्स the magnetic field will be produced it depend upon uh, uh, from one coil to other coil or uh, it may be a from first coil to second coil or from second to first coil depending upon the uh, if the current is clockwise or anti clockwise okay so uh, let's start firstly switch off everything to zero and uh, then switch on the uh, coil okay at this time this uh, current is flowing in uh, clockwise okay but uh, but as i have set it, it to, to zero no uh, no current is flowing on this so no magnetic field inside that now this is a flamet okay uh, you may see that there is a red light mean the electrons has been produced but the uh, because uh, the uh, accelerated voltage is zero so current is not moving forward wise uh, but they are gathered on this heated flamet okay so the electron is gathered here and, but when we provide the accelerated voltage the green uh, straight path will be produced this in this way this electron is flowing straight forward along the straight line why this is moving along the straight line because uh, uh, there is no magnetic field because no current is flowing on this uh, coil and so there is a no magnetic field is provided okay so to uh, so as we increase the uh, as we create uh, increase the uh, accelerated voltage uh, the uh, as we increase the accelerated voltage the uh, the intensity of electron uh, flowing will be increased okay so as we increase this will be increase so this green color line will be produced now when we will provide the current the current will be start flowing here uh, in this time this is uh, set to clockwise if the current is set to clockwise then and when we magnetic field then this type of magnetic uh, so uh, as we increase the current the magnetic field will be increase this is producing helix uh, I mean, if this is not perpendicular, uh, uh, if the uh, if the electron flow is not perpendicular to the magnetic field, then this is like a helix uh, spring curve. Okay, but uh, if we set it into the uh, perpendicular, uh, as we have done in our theory, then this must make a circle. In this way, this will uh, uh, now this become a circle. So as we will provide uh, uh, the uh, as we increase the potential the uh, uh, the sir, uh, radius of circle will be reduced okay so it's up to you okay so we will get different values for this uh, okay so this will as we will increase this is the current okay as we increase the current the intensity will increase and as we uh, increase the magnetic field i think this circle is uh, more uh, so so this uh, in this way we feel if we change the direction of coil then this uh, we have to move it toward the other side I mean, this will be a circle okay so but uh, uh, firstly we have to switch off okay so Firstly, uh, the I have to wait, and then this is the in circle. Okay. Okay. 
so we increase the intensity so that it become a prominent so now this is prominent okay if we uh, uh, the, if this is not perpendicular then that will become a helix but to, when we it, when it become the trajectory when electron uh, is perpendicular uh, then it will make a circle okay so this is now this is fit to according to formula here is a scale so uh, with the help of scale we will put it into this way and we will uh, we will put eyes in such a way that it become a uh, as a center okay we will find the initial value that is 11 and then we will find the 18.5 the difference will be uh, this will give you the uh, value of uh, uh, this uh, if you if you set it at 14 and this will be 18 so difference of diameter will be 18 minus 14 and that will be uh, 15 16 17 8 4 uh, 4 centimeter okay so uh, when you divide the, uh, it with the 2 then uh, you will get uh, the uh, radius of uh, this filament okay uh, outer value outer value of radius inner value uh, sorry uh, left hand side value of the uh, uh, circle and right right hand side of the uh, circle okay it i have uh, i have uh, set up uh, my eyes as it is at the center okay so from 14 to 8 uh, 14 and uh, this is 19 uh, now the book 19 to 14 so the difference of 19 to 14 will be uh, 15 16 17 18 19 5 centimeter okay so uh, that will be the radi uh, radi uh, diameter and when we divide it with the 2 then that will be give you the uh, uh, the diameter of so 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 we will note uh, two value from left that was a 14 from right that was a 19 so difference will be give you the value of r okay that is r that will be uh, 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 three one T2 minus T1 that is diameter that is D2 okay that will be R okay in this way uh, you will find the diameter okay as I have already explained the now we have to find the radius that is difficult to find but when we find the uh, uh, find the di uh, distance between two coil from inside and outside that will be half of as I have already uh, firstly we find the value of inside and then outside so this will be give you the uh, value of capital d uh, v2 minus v1 divided by 2 inner plus r will be equal to d2 plus d2 minus d1 inner plus d2 minus d1 Outer divided by two. So in this way, uh, uh, d2 over d2 inner diameter, inner uh, uh, point at uh, scale, inner point of uh, at initial and inner point at final, and divided by two. Is it similarly inner point at outer final, inner outer point at final, and outer point inner divided by two. Uh, that will be the this uh, this is a uh, uh, 14 is inner okay and zero similarly we will measure the outer okay d2 will uh, this will be a d2 value this that will be a d1 value difference will be given similarly we will measure the outer okay and uh, we will divide with d2 so that's uh, the our uh, the and by putting all these value on the, uh, the formula described above we will uh, get the EM ratio of the electron. Okay. Thank you very much. Allah is.